What's up BP Squad, it's Spence Crosby, back with another tutorial. Today I have my little brother Justin again, and he's gonna teach you how to throw a solid lead hook. Stay tuned. All right guys, so thanks for tuning in once again for another video. We're gonna be teaching you guys how to throw a solid lead hook. Now, if you checked out my last video with my little brother, he taught you guys how to throw a jab. This time around, however, he's gonna be teaching you guys how to throw a solid lead hook. As I told you before in the last video, that he has a pretty good lead hook. And if you guys watch boxing, then you know, having a lead hook is crucial because you can catch people, not only when they have their guard up, you can catch them right at the end of it, but you can also sneak that thing in. You could get different angles from this way, or this way. But as I said before, he's more of the pure boxers, so I'm gonna let him go ahead and take it away and he can explain more. Having a good lead hook can definitely be deadly in a lot of situations because sometimes it, can, it will allow you to come around the guard, it will allow you to come in between the guard depending on the angle that you actually throw it. So when you say, how do you throw it, what do you mean exactly how high you throw it? Yeah, because sometimes my opponent could have his right hand up and I can still sneak it around. Oh, Or sometimes okay. if he has this hand right here, I can still sneak it in. It's just kind of dangerous. So it is dangerous for the person defending the hook just because sometimes it's hard to tell what angle that the shot's actually coming from. Sometimes they might come too far in and then they still get caught. Sometimes they can come too far out and they're still getting caught. So it's like I was saying earlier in the video guys, how you could catch the end of that hook, even though you still have your guard up, that's why it's so important, but you can still get caught. As my brother was explaining, you might have like something like this, right? And then catch me. Catch him still right there. Right here. And if anybody who watches boxing, that was how Charlo knocked out Tony Harrison in their second fight. He literally caught, I think Tony literally had his hand up and he literally came in between the guard and still caught him. So guys, you seen that last clip of Charlo versus Harris. So that's why it's important to throw your hook in different angles. You mentioned some other things as well. What's another tip you give these guys about having a solid lead hook? Having a good solid base, which is a good balance because you definitely want to, I mean, but this, this really applies to every punch that you throw in boxing, but especially with the lead hook. But you mentioned about having a good base and solid balance. Why is that so important? From my understanding, is it just about creating leverage for that left hook? Yes, I yeah. mean, so you have to also look at it like this. Look at it like from like a tree standpoint, right? So we have a good base, you're solid. If you're bouncing around, you won't have as much leverage on your shots. However, when you're actually playing it and you can actually get a lot more leverage and a lot more power on your shots. Okay guys, so having a solid foundation is critical to having a solid lead hook. What's another tip you could give these guys? I mean, whether you're southpaw or orthodox, for me, since I'm orthodox, you wanna ideally keep your right hand up because oftentimes in boxing, a lot of guys will throw a left hook at the same exact time uh, as this other guy's throwing the left hook. So ideally, you would rather to have this hand up so you can catch him and you can still catch his hook at the same exact time. You don't want to be like this and then let's say he actually has his right hand up and you don't and then you're going to be the one that's actually getting caught. All right guys, so we talked about having leverage on your lead hook, having a good solid foundation and making sure you keep your hands up. For southpaw, you're going to keep your left. Orthodox, you got your right. What's some ways that people can improve their lead hook? Um, first off, you really... A lot of time people make this mistake of not putting their weight on their lead leg. So they might have their weight on this leg or they're just not even distributing their weight at all. So they might just be like this, which I mean, if you throw it as more of a, of a check left hook, you could, but if you really want to have leverage and do some damage, you ideally want to shift your weight to this lead leg and then throw it. So that's creating that leverage throw. like, boom, yeah. I see, yeah. Throw it like that. Make sure when you do that, make sure you're rotating your hips. Rotating those hips. So, rule number one, solid base. Two, make sure you have that right hand up. And, and then I want you to throw it and I want you to rip it. Like, like this. So you should be rotating. 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 So, 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 like your, so like your lead, so like your lead foot will actually turn a little bit, but but the main thing that you want to rotate those hips. 
Ah. So it's almost like you want to, rather than punch at the person, you want to go through yeah, that person. Yeah, go through them. Exactly. Okay, okay. So like, if any of you guys played baseball, you would know. So when you're actually batting, you're, so you're rotating. So it's the same as that concept, but it just apply it to the lead left hook, and that's pretty much it. All right, so my brother has spoken about that. What's one more thing you could give these guys about, in, like, improving their lead hook? The last lead is this one. Um, a lot of people make this kind of mistake and this is something that you shouldn't do. A lot of guys will do this. When they throw their lead left hook, they're kind of like slapping. Ah. So, so this will not give you any sort of power. So like, like arm punching. Yeah, so like basically you can have the correct form. You can do everything that, that I literally just um, showed you. But if you're hitting like this, you're literally just hitting them with like the palms. But ideally, so you wanna make sure you turn it over and make sure you hit them with the knuckles. And ideally, just like if you watch the last day with the um, how to throw a perfect jab, well, you really wanna make sure you make contact with these two knuckles right here so you can deal with the most damage. So, bam, bam. But just make sure that the knuckles is turned over. Bam. And what some guys do to actually make sure that they turn the knuckles over, some guys will even do this. They will actually curve their fist like this. I mean, I don't really like do this, but some guys do do that just so they can make sure that they're really getting those knuckles in. So they would just curve their fist like this. All right, so now that you guys know all the tools to improve and better your lead hook, now we gotta talk about the common mistakes. Give some common mistakes that people make when throwing their lead hook. Okay, well, a common mistake that people do make is it's staying way too high. It's sort of like, uh, this isn't the best example, but I used it in my last video uh, with my little brother. When Dominic Brazil, if you watch closely, guys, he stands up really high. So I can see why that plays like a, let's say a pivotal role when it comes to not having a solid lead hook because you talk about leverage. Hey. So if you're standing like this, I, even me doing that, I don't, I don't feel a lot powerful. When I, I'm like this, sort of like Mike Tyson, I'm like, boom! Exactly. Even when you look at all of the, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say all, but majority of the biggest, you know, punchers in Boston history, they usually squat down when, it, when, when they're trying to get really good leverage. Now, a uh, guy to really watch, if you really want to know how to generate like a lot of power from like a, um, from throwing your lead hook and just like a picture perfect lead hook is Felix Trinidad. Now, Felix Trinidad was a great Puerto Rican boxer. If you watch this fight with Fernando Vargas, you would just watch like a, just like a guy who's just really surgical with that lead left hook. So we pretty much mentioned all the common mistakes you can make. Is there any other mistakes you can add? Lastly, I would definitely say this. Sometimes guys will throw a lead hook from way too far. And what I mean by that, sometimes a guy's maybe pulling out and then they're trying to catch him like he's way over there. I should probably be using my longer punches, jab or right hand, but now I'm gonna try to catch him like this. Ooh, so now- I see an opening too. Yeah, exactly. So now if I miss, boom, he can Bow. hit me right there. Or even if I do happen to make contact with him, Look, it's nothing. It's like a slap now, cause it's cause it's gonna be so difficult for you to actually turn like this. Right. I mean, it's still you know possible, but it's a lot more difficult to actually turn and actually get good leverage. Cause now, now it's kind of more of a arm punch rather than I'm actually torquing it. And even then, guys, as my brother was showing you, you see how his arm is extended. Extend your arm again. You see, I can see that. If it's shorter. I have, I can't see that as fast, but since it's long, I'm like, all right, I can see where he's coming from. I can get under it, boom, or I can even do it like this, boom, get underneath that hook. So you never want to throw your hook way too long. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how you throw a solid lead hook. And the mistakes we listed, of course, that's just the basic mistakes. There's levels and nuances to boxing. So of course, there's going to be more margins for error. Other than that, guys, that's just from a basic level. But guys, make sure you continue to check out our boxing tutorial as my brother will be giving you a lot more. But with that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Most importantly, do not forget, bat, 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 boom, Ooh, what just knocked him out? To hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. Peace and love as always. And now, Shay, don't do this.